Bebop. Welcome to Artist Bebop number 26. <laughs> Artist Bebop was a podcast I started uh, during the pandemic. During the pandemic boom. <laughs> but um, I realized, uh, you know, we should keep it going. So uh, once a week, I'm going to uh, do what I call the weekly ramble to keep piling on to uh, all the projects I do creatively. I started to do uh, the daily rambling artist. <laughs> I forget that my background is in writing sometimes. I, I thought we'd try this. So the game is, I'm gonna set a timer. Here we go. All right, 22 minutes. And uh, I'm gonna start rambling. We'll see what happens. So the daily ramble um, has been interesting because I've been, it started just trying to figure out more things to do online as far as um, just sharing. And um, it, it, uh, it's been interesting because it, you know, you, that's a whole different muscle and I've enjoyed it so much. And uh, it's actually going to turn into a book project, which is unexpected. And, um, you know, another thing that I'm working on, <laughs> which is a lot of fun, but, um, but it's just been fun. I was going to actually read one, the daily rambling artist siren no siren i come from the water so they all they all have these little titles but um this is one i did the other day and um there's usually an image that complements it but um you know i feel like they stand alone too so i saw her from the ocean not far with each rise of a wave her silhouette etched against the horizon a fleeting image of familiarity i'd pause my gaze fixated before surrendering once more to the embrace of the water. The ocean whispered secrets to me, its currents weaving stories through my veins, nourishing me. Each time I looked, she seemed to recede, a puzzle piece slipping through the vast canvas of the sea, sand, and sky. The cycle persisted until one day she was no longer there, and the horizon bare. But that was all right. It made sense. I belong to the ocean, a fish, a Pisces. <laughs> but yeah, um, so most of them are, you know, it's a random ramble and it's just made me think about expression. That one was kind of weird. You know, I was thinking about um, relationships that I've had and um, how, um, you know, I'm a contributing factor to why they don't work. <laughs> because I, um, there is the artist, and um, I think that is often a draw for, for me in relationships. But then um, there's not an off button to the artist. And um, so, yeah, you know, it, it's a, uh, the metaphor of the ocean and uh, being the art world. But I don't know, man, kind of cool. Lately, I've been um, working on this week. Like Paul Rubens died last week and um, I won't let it go. I, <laughs> I loved Pee Wee growing up. He was um, just especially, um, well, all of it, Tim Burton, Pee Wee's Playhouse. It was just um, I, I wrote about it, um, you know, it was like going to the gym for the imagination. I was, I was a kid then, but it, um, I just loved it. And I, I loved the idea of Pee Wee, like what a great imagination. And, um, but I started, um, it's funny, my dad is a champion of, uh, bringing me discards of wood and, uh, all types of things, but they, at their house, have been um, remodeling the kitchen. So they took out these old cabinets that are, 
I don't know, from the 60s. And uh, maybe, I don't know, 60s, 70s. That's what it looks like. And uh, my brother was about to discard them. And he rescued them and brought them to me. And it's created a whole uh, Pee Wee Herman series. Paintings on a on these weird slivers of wood. And they have a hole in them, so I, I put a rope on them. But it's, uh, it's made me happy. And the, the reaction has made me happy. The, is a, I, like I said, I won't let it go. <laughs> but, uh, I, at first I, I, um, because I, I immediately started to write something and I've done so many peewee pieces over the years, but, um, I really felt like I was going to be the only sad person and to see the outpour of love, you know, a couple, a couple of haters, but, <laughs> but su such is life that, um, but at, at that hater thing can be real sometimes, but I don't know. I, um, thankfully it was brought up by a really strong, really strong parents, but my mom, especially, um, just always instilled a don't let them, don't let them kick you down attitude, which I'm so thankful for. Take water break here. Rambling's hard. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I, um, I, mean, I, I talk to the, the camera every day because I do my daily, um, videos, recaps of the, the studio time, which, um, I love, but, uh, but I've, I've never, uh, gone uh, barring the the interviews i used to do which i i'm still open to doing so if you're out there and um you want to do some artist bebop podcasting bring it i'm uh i'm here <laughs> i'm here and I, I enjoy the conversation it's just that format got hard because um <laughs> you know i have little ones and it's it's um what it's 2 52 a.m and I have to get up at seven or eight. It depends on um, my son. He's my alarm clock. But um, but anyway, that that worked during um, COVID times because people were up at weird hours. But um, yeah, not not anymore. <laughs> and I, I was doing remote ones too. I would I would talk to all types of. Um, they're they're in the archives. But, um, but no, yeah, yeah, I mean, I could do, like, live ones now. So, if you're listening and uh, you want to chat, get at me. <laughs> what else? What else is going on? I, um, I've got someone, it's exciting, I've been sending, um, pieces to uh, a place in Martha's Vineyard, the shout out to Portobello Road. And um, so he was asking for more pieces for, for his store. And um, so I've been, I've been working on that, but I've also been distracted by the peewee thing. I need to get through the, the boards. I don't know how many more I have left, but <laughs> I don't know how many more characters. I don't. That movie is so rich with characters. This is probably the Pee Wee episode, but um, yeah. I <laughs> the the thing that always I've always liked. Um, I've talked about it before. I've rambled about it a lot, but auxiliary characters, the like the background characters. There's an artist I like, and we had a good talk about it because his art very much was about kind of that like uh, subtext of uh, like, you know, what were superheroes doing when they weren't uh, in form. <laughs> and I don't know, the kind of deconstructionalist, I guess. But 
but to me, yeah, uh, Star Wars is the biggest example. Um, when I watched that film as a kid, I wanted to know the story of every single character in the background. And I would argue sometimes they were more interesting to me than the main characters, just because of that mystery. And I enjoy that so much. And it, it has, that has never ceased. <laughs> and, and painting that especially, I especially like get when somebody's like, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Um, that's a good feeling. I've, um, I've bonded with a few artists on that. Um, Ashley Bressler, I think I'm getting that right, but, uh, um, on, on Instagram. I'll, I'll throw the link up here on the video part, but, and in the notes. Yeah. So I'll be doing this, um, video and audio. And I think that'll, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I, I think the thing that I've been most surprised about it, I, um, well, to begin with the whole, um, career as an artist, um, you know, ne I never get over the idea that, um, somebody actually purchases something from me. And it's not like, <laughs> I think, I don't know. I don't know if it's an economics thing. Um, but it means a lot to me because I, um, I talk to my friends a lot about this, that, um, I know that what I do, it isn't groceries. It's not, um, it's not useful in that respect, I guess, you know, and there could be philosophical arguments about it being nourishment, but I, um, I know what it is. It, it is that, you know, to own a piece, it's, it's kind of a luxury or it is a luxury. And, um, so it means a lot to me to, um, to have that endorsed, encouraged, the encouragement. I always love that meme that floats around about, um, don't feed the artists. There's a few, but don't feed the artists. Um, I saw one today, don't feed the artist, um, buy their art and they'll feed themselves. And, um, but I, I just like, I like the imagery of like feeding the artist <laughs> <laughs> to be I'm like, oh, don't feed them because, um, you know, they, they might activate. <laughs> We're dangerous people. Um, but I don't think so, but I, I, um, I think I said that once we were in a meeting planning something I used to do. Um, when I worked with, uh, I still work with the nonprofit, but th this other nonprofit, I used to go to, um, chamber of commerce things. And, um, so they were talking about, uh, we were planning a, an event. And so I was on that committee and they mentioned a city council woman that, um, local city councilwoman that, uh, they were trying to get her involved somehow. And, um, I said, you have to be careful because she's an artist and artists are terrible people. No, <laughs> dangerous people. But, uh, yeah, we, we like to think we're rebels, right? Well, I can't generalize. Maybe, uh, I, I am, uh, I don't know. I guess it is, I guess it is rebellious to, um, to put, uh, you know, paint or pencil or marker or, or glue things together and, um, put them out into the world and ask people to, um, support this weird thing that you're doing. <laughs> I always... There's such a gall to that, that, um, that makes me love it. <laughs> it's not normal. And, um, but that, uh, 
That's what keeps me going. I dig it. But yeah, I was thinking about my, um, I, th I think it's funny because, uh, ADHD, I, uh, got diagnosed not too long ago and, um, it explains so much, but I've become a lot more conscious of, uh, the way I speak. Like this is, uh, I'm in perfect form here. <laughs> so I'm circling back, uh, to why I brought my, uh, my father bringing me stuff is, a. Uh, I, I love that. I love that um, he's a man of few words, but um, it's things like that that um, help me understand. So this is interesting. It is a. I'm going the 22 minutes. I'm going to do uncut. So I'm going to start. Practicing not saying um and a and r, 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 uh. <laughs> Which uh, I think will be a good skill to develop on the dailies. I get to cut all that out but I, It's uh, I guess I've been I'm always thinking about stuff, but I've particularly been thinking about how um multimedia everything is as a creative uh, I've been um, and I think it lends itself to developing other creative muscles in the end it's all expression so you know why why couldn't you flow in and out of everything I started in photography and well, you know, when I was little, I, I drew, I loved all that. My mom was so nurturing of it. And I'm so happy to give that to my kids. But um, yeah, then I went into photography. And because, you know, I started in the dark room, it went digital. We started to see film cameras have video capabilities. I jumped right on that and um, we got a little video experience and I'm so thankful for all that. You, um, you know, it seems like lack of focus, but it works well for someone with ADHD because, <laughs> you, you know, um, yeah, but I, I um, there we go. I caught an um. <laughs> Yeah, I, it's hard not to say, um, um, <laughs> it's like a meditation, um, but <laughs> now, now I'm losing track of what I was saying and I think, um, that'll be okay. I'll get better. We will work this rambling, but I do love a good ramble. Yeah, I, I was thinking about that um, when I was younger like a kid I don't know even even older than that if um, people around my mom would say oh he's so quiet he's so quiet he's so quiet and then I got to an age where you know you, you start your parent is always they're always your parent but I got to an age where, you know, we, we had um, different footing. And um, so during one of those, or I don't know who we were talking to, but I, I, I recounted how I would always hear that. And my, <laughs> I said, my mom, um, it's not that I'm so quiet. It's that my mom has so much to say that I never got a chance to speak. <laughs> but, you know, as I got older, I, I learned to um, politely interject with my mom. Sometimes it's a force thing. <laughs> I have my tactics, and, uh, which probably annoy her. It's all right. 
but the gift of, uh, I say I have an okay gift of gab. Definitely came from my mom. Big, big influence is my parents and, and their, my dad in his weirder ways. Like definitely his sense of humor, <laughs> which I love. He, he's still um, the funniest man alive to me. I'm gonna take another drink here. I'm gonna crunch ice too. Nice. <laughs> but no, the um, I, 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 the writing is so funny because it, you know, you you're reflecting, or I'm reflecting as as an artist, but you know, also just as a human, and um, I was uh, my mom was young, like twenty. 22, 21, when she had me. And, um, you know, until my sister came along, um, when I was nine, I was, uh, I was it. And so I was around my mom a lot. And as such, those were my conversations. And as such, um, I always asked her questions. And I was fascinated by family histories, which I think is interesting because my um, siblings don't really know those histories as much. And I'm like, well, I guess you hung around me, so, you know, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I ruined it for you. But it, to me, it, I, I love the, um, the way she told stories. And um, always in Spanish, and I, to this day, I, I only speak Spanish to her, really, unless we're out in public. And, but I, I appreciate that, that gift, because um, that's where my expression comes from. I probably need to do um, some writing about that. So, um, and again, I'm, I'm appreciating. And thank you, like, if you're listening and you're one of the people that um, read those. And yeah, we'll circle back again. You know, I'm amazed, like, people get my art, but I'm also amazed people are into anything that I do. So thank you. And I, I'm watching my clock here. <laughs> Seven sec or four, three, two, one. Check it out. Uh, boom. Your time is up. <laughs> well, that was fun. Um, I'll be attempting this every Thursday. We'll see. Um, we'll see how I can hang. But, um, yeah, man, thank you if you're, uh, if you hung this far. If you've ever uh, hit a like or a share or said a kind word or DM'd or any of that interaction, I so appreciate. And um, yeah, just thank you. So I, um, yeah, if you've got uh, things you want to hear me ramble about, stick them in the comments and, um, or shoot me a DM and, uh, you know, Somebody asked me about, like, in my, uh, I'm still going to ramble a little bit, sorry. But we're, <laughs> we're past the main ramble. This is, like, the outro, I guess. Um, I don't know. I'm making it all up. That's what, uh, that's the power of this, uh, these mediums. But, um, but yeah, if you, um, you get ideas or, I'm always, I'm always listening. Because I, I enjoy it. So, uh, all right, I will see you next time. Welcome to my world, El Santos world.